CDC is sounding the alarm about a drop in vaccination rates among children, and they say that they're concerned because that will in turn affect everybody. And here to answer your questions is Dr. Todd Ellerin. He's the chief of infectious diseases at South Shore Health. Dr. T, it's always great to see you. Let's start with question one. The CDC found vaccination rates among kindergartners for things like the measles, the mumps, rubella dropped 1% last year, dropped 1%. Now that seems like a small number. So, so why, why is anyone worried? Eddie, as we see small drops in these percentage rates, we're gonna see increases in these vaccine preventable infections. Here's a thought experiment. Picture 50,000 cases of polio a year, 15,000 cases of paralytic polio. Picture 500,000 cases of measles, 50,000 hospitalized. That is not dystopic. That's what happened in the 1940s and 1950s before the polio vaccine and the MMR, the measles, mumps and rubella vaccine. If we continue to go backwards, we will essentially be going back in time in repeating history. We have to sound an alarm now. So Dr. New Hampshire, this is the information that we got, is among the eight states where vaccination rates for measles slip below 90%. So based on that, is that something that health experts like you here in Massachusetts will be watching? It is concerning. Why, Maria? Think about this. Last year in Ohio, 80 unvaccinated kids developed measles, one of two major outbreaks in the United States last year. How was Ohio doing with children being vaccinated against measles? 88%. That doesn't sound that bad, but measles is so contagious is that what we know is you have to have rates higher than 95% to ensure that you're not going to have these outbreaks. D Dr. T, there's still an undercurrent of vaccine hesitancy in the wake of the pandemic. So how do you have that conversation with families? It's so challenging. When you think about the power of the vaccine, the COVID vaccine, it saved millions of lives around the world. But it's just something that is real. We have to understand. So I think the key is just having ongoing co conversations with parents, making making sure the parents and the kids speak to their pediatricians. And remember, we have to watch out for misinformation and disinformation. The polio vaccine in the United States does not cause polio. The measles vaccine does not cause autism. These are things that have been thought of in the past, but are just not true.